Hey guys, we're checking out Hollywood Fantasy Percussions by East West. This is the fourth library in the series. We already have the strings, we have the brass, we have the wind, and now we have the percussions. I'm going to show you what's included, how it sounds. I'm going to show you this also in a context of a project that I'm trying to work on for a long time. And also, of course, we're going to include a short conclusion section at the end. So stick around. Let's get started. Right, so now I'm using the Opus player. This is where everything by East West is running. That's the host program. And as you can see, I have everything already installed. This is because I have the subscription. And that's pretty nice. If you're uh, constantly working on projects, you can use this subscription to have just everything uh, at your fingertips. So we have the uh, brass right here. Then we have the percussions. We have the strings and the wind. All of these uh, libraries belong to that fantasy orchestra. And everything is geared to uh, film scoring, trailer music, things like that, maybe game audio. And in the percussions, what we've got is 17 different instruments. So as you can see, we have uh, them listed right here on the right side. So I'm going to show you quickly some of them and then we'll dive in more details to others. So the first one right here, this is the Bodar Nest. I, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Please let me know in the comments. When you're loading this one, of course, uh, you need to go into the play. And this is an Irish frame drum. And you can see we have two sets and you can see them right here in the keyboard section, C1 and C2. And we have different articulations. And of course, I'm not going into the details of the player here and all these options, but definitely you can use the epic settings right here and get more pronounced sound. Let's try some more instruments. So this is the Grand Casas. It's the bass drum. It's the big orchestral bass drum. And again, we have two sets. Beautiful. And I'm going to show you some more stuff in a moment. Let's see what I've got for this little piece that I'm working on. So I'm going to close this and show you some, some of the things. So in terms of percussions, when, um, when I started working on, you know, some ideas, uh, I only had this uh, to start with. And immediately I thought, well, that really needs some, uh, well, some snares. So I got the snares right here, and this is what I've got. And let's have a quick listen. All right, so I wanted to have this marching kind of sound. All right, something like that. And so that's what I have right here. And as you can hear, we have those uh, uh, different articulations that you can use, those rolls. Right, so uh, also we have some Taiku drums. So I'm going to load those and they are in a different track right here. And as you can see, we have the two sets. Let's have a, a quick demo here. Right, and together with the snares.
We also have other ceremonial drums like this uh, Negado uh, ensemble. So let's have a quick listen to that. And other things that you can find in this library would be some cymbals and some metal uh, instruments uh, like the uh, chichang. So let's have a quick listen. Now this Crotales ensemble is very cool. Let's have a quick listen. Now in the cymbal and gong ensemble, we have all kinds of different instruments and mostly metal, of course. So let's have a listen to that. It starts with C1 on the keyboard. And of course, we also have goat nail shaker, right? You can't do without that one. We also have a combination or integration of goat nail and shishang. So let's have a quick listen to that. Next, we have the Krakab. Let's have a listen. A simple metal shaker. We also have this Nagara drum. Let's try it out. And in fact, this is great for sound effects. You can hear that it's not your regular kind of drum sounds they're using this as something complementary you can use for special effects so very nice idea to add that one let's try some more so we have also a combination of the gara and ashiko So this is probably my favorite, the Bells Ensemble. Let's have a quick listen.
So this is the metallurgy. It's kind of a plate, a metal plate, and there are different sounds that you can make with this. Let's have a quick try and see how it sounds. And finally, we also have toms, and as you can see, they are tuned, so they're across the keyboard. Let's have a quick listen. So as I promised, I'm going to show you some of the other libraries. So this is the brass. And if we go into our browser, you'll see I have four different libraries loaded here. And overall, we have the up horns, we have flugel horns, we have the Wagner tubas and low brass ensemble. And we can have a quick listen now. Now, as you can see, for each of the instruments, we have quite a lot of different uh, playing styles and articulations. You can see, that, for example, for the low brass ensemble, we have the long short effect and key switches. And for each one, we have different articulations and instruments. So lots of sounds. And so let's check the strings. In this library, you can see that we have dulcimers, we have hardanger fiddles, we have lutes, we have viola de gamba. And we have cellos and basses, violins, we have hardy guardy. So there's a lot of different instruments. And for each one, again, all kinds of articulations and instruments. Uh, this is just uh, uh, a lot to cover in this video, but check my channel for the full review. And we can have a quick listen. And in the Fantasy Wind library, you can find Irish whistles, we have Renaissance flutes, we have the Julian pipes and uh, ocarines. So uh, really nice, really love the sounds. And of course, I covered that one also in the channel. So I'm using for this one just the, the flutes right here and the ocarines. So let's have a listen. So that was the East West Hollywood Fantasy Percussion Library. Really love everything they did here. And in conclusion, the selection is good. We have big drums. We have also delicate instruments. We have metal instruments. We also have some melodic instruments. But I feel that they could do a little bit more. Maybe they could have put some metal drums, maybe hang drums, things like that maybe xylophones or marimbas that could uh, complement everything that we already have here, but maybe that will come in later libraries. So all in all, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. I'll try and uh, give you a quick answer. And of course, I'm going to put all the links in the description of this video. And you're welcome to buy through my links, through my shop. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks and bye-bye.